We still face some tough times. We still face some challenges. We're going to pass through some rough terrain. There's still some headwinds that are coming at us. No <laughs> All right, a little rough terrain, a little headwind still coming at us. It's fine. We're Americans. We're strong. It's just like you know, if, if, uh, if you had a bad illness, if you got hit by a, by a truck, you know, it's going to take a while for you to mend. And that's what's happened to our economy. from there's a little bit of headwind to we got hit by a truck <laughs> if john stewart doesn't seem convinced none of my guests here do either they think that that was funny and he is not alone because a new abc news washington post poll shows that 90 percent of americans describe the state of the economy as not so good or poor what's more 57 percent believe the economy has not even started to recover no surprise, look at this. You can see here how long it took the jobs picture to improve after previous recessions over the past 36 years. Now fast forward to the current crisis, job loss has been deeper and longer lasting. If job growth continues at this pace, it could take until 2016 to return to pre-recession levels of employment. So how do we jumpstart this process? Joining me now, Republican Senator Richard Shelby of Alabama, the ranking member of the Senate Banking Committee, Robert Reich, the former Clinton administration labor secretary and current professor at the University of California at Berkeley, and once again, ABC's John Carl. So that comedic setup had you all laughing. What is the reality? Has one been hit by a truck? Is it a headwind? Let me ask you first. You've dealt with labor and, and, and the job market. Is this cyclical or is this a real structural hole? Uh, Christian, the, the central problem is on the demand side. 70% uh, of the U.S. economy is consumers. And consumers are hit uh, with uh, the equivalent of a truck. I mean, their housing prices are dropping like mad. Uh, their wages adjusted for inflation are dropping. Uh, their jobs are disappearing and almost everybody knows somebody or has somebody in their own family or themselves are worried about losing a job. Under these circumstances, consumers are pulling in. They are not spending. And if they're not spending, then jobs are not going to be created. There has got to be, in fact, the jobs program we need is a way of putting money back in people's pockets mm -hmm. and creating jobs even directly, if so, necessary. So we sort of know, but is there a plan? Is there a plan to get Americans back to work? Not long term, but now. Well. I believe that uh, stimulus basically doesn't work for the most part. We've tried that. Uh, I think what we've got to do is create the conditions. Tax reform, which we could do and we haven't. Uh, incentives uh, for manufacturing, we've lost uh, millions of jobs in manufacturing. And uh, say this is a new day. We've got to do it. We've got to be buoyant about where we're going. We've got to grow this economy. The market grows the economy. Government, we've grown the government, but we haven't grown the economy, and we better be mindful of that. You're shaking your head. You know, obviously the debate right now is about how much government intervention. Even people who don't want to see governments intervene say that sometimes that's what a government well, has to do in an emergency. Look, Christian, I, I really, I deeply respect the senator and the senator's position, but... It's just sheer logic. When consumers and private sector investors are pulling in because there is not enough economic activity, because consumers are scared, because consumers are 70% of the economy, then government has got to fill the gap. I mean, we've done this for the last 75 but, years. But, but look, look what we've tried. I mean, look, look what the, uh, the administration's yeah. tried. We've done $800 plus billion dollars in economic stimulus. We've done tax cuts, the big you know, tax cuts passed in December. And the Fed has kept interest rates at virtually nothing. Yes, but there's... And there's, 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 there's there aren't many tools left. But look, at the, the scale of the crisis was much larger than anybody anticipated. This is the worst since the Great Depression. Exempt the first $20,000 of income from payroll taxes for the next year. Uh, redo the bankruptcy code so people can declare bankruptcy on their primary residence and therefore have enormous bargaining leverage with their lenders if they are in trouble. Uh, have a WPA, a, a direct employment but, but, program. But, but do you really think a new spending plan is gonna pass muster in Congress? I mean, the, the, well, the, the White House doesn't want will it? Uh, first of all, no, I don't believe any new stimulus is gonna pass. Uh, in Congress. I don't think it has any credibility. We have seen what the past stimulus did for the most part. What we need to do is create some certainty, uh, some uh, conditions for people to invest, to grow, to have some confidence. There's not a lot of confidence in the economy right now all over America. 
Can I just uh, talk about this idea of jobs, which is the all-important one? You just heard Donald Brazil and Peggy Noonan arguing right. about whether there had been uh, economic growth and whether jobs were being created. And uh, Donna was saying for the last 15 months, there has been. And I asked uh, Austin Goolsby on this program last week about the jobless recovery that some economists are talking about. He got very angry. This is what he said. It is not a jobless recovery. That is an incorrect phrase. After the last recession, in this comparable period, post-recession, we had lost 100,000 jobs. Mm -hmm. We've added more than 2 million jobs. There's a major difference between a jobless recovery mm -hmm. and a very deep hole that we're cr climbing our way out of. And that is what the position so, we're in. Deep hole, jobless recovery. Is he right? They have added um, jobs. Look, uh, 2 million jobs have been added, Christiane, but so many jobs have been lost that we still have... Uh, 13 and a half million Americans without work and another million who are too discouraged even to look for work. This is not business as usual. The president has got to come up with a jobs plan. Uh, even if it doesn't get through a Republican Congress, he's got to be fighting for it and fighting for Americans. Uh, you can't go into an election year uh, with this kind of unemployment. Are you surprised that he's not more sort of passionate on out in public about this? I, I tell you, I, I am surprised of this, about the silence coming out of Washington, mm -hmm. deafening silence. Uh, Republicans talk about, again with due respect, Senator, I mean the same old uh, cut taxes on the corporation. Corporations have $1.9 trillion they are sitting on right now. They are not spending. Why what, what, is that? Why are they not spending? This is something people, that many people, people talk about. People are not about. spending because they're concerned, they're scared. Whether they're, they're a small, medium-sized business or whether it's an individual, uh, they see the real numbers out there, not numbers that people are hyping on either side of the aisle, but the real numbers. They see uh, anemic growth and uh, they see uh, maybe problems in the future for their children. So that's why they're not spending and why, uh, and also a lot of uncertainty in, in America. There's a lot of money uh, in being on the sidelines right now. It could have been invested, but we need certainty for investment. We need regulations that we know that are going to be there or fewer of them, I mean, we need a tax policy that means something. I mean, a lot of that uncertainty is coming from Congress and, and, and from the White House. I mean, there's uncertainty about, are we going to default on our debt? Where, where, where's the debt ceiling talking? That's all consuming right now. There's uncertainty about taxes. Are the tax cuts going to be renewed? Or are we going to have to see tax increases to pay for all this debt? Okay. There's even uncertainty on the health care bill. I mean, is the Supreme yes, Court there is that going to overturn it? But look, at the deficit fight, the deficit is important over the long term. But right now, the issue is not the deficit, the issue is not the debt ceiling, the issue is jobs. And they're not the same. So Senator, what's wrong, if I may ask, right. what's wrong with the new WPA program or a, con a civilian conservation corps for the uh, six million uh, unemployed who have been unemployed for more than six months? Well, first, Why not put them to work? First of all, I, I think we should do that, but we should do work it in the private sector. Uh, WPA did not bring us out of the Depression, the war did. Uh, we look back at the stimulus, uh, nearly a trillion dollars gone down the drain. We've got to create the conditions of certainty to get people to have confidence to create jobs. Can, can but the, I ask war, you? the war brought us out of the Great Depression yeah. because of that spending. You've 120 also, percent of the national economy. You've was also spending. got an issue, obviously, that, that those who are producing and manufacturing are doing so not necessarily having to hire more workers because of the increasing technologization Absolutely. of the workforce. A, is that going to be a structural problem going forth? And B, is this 8% or 9% the new normal of unemployment in this country? Christian, there is a deeper structural problem. Uh, even if you did all of the necessary stimulus and spending and had an exemption program for the first $20,000 of income uh, from the payroll tax and did the WPA, you still have a deep structural issue. And that is when so much of the nation's income and wealth now go to the top 1%, mm -hmm. The vast middle class doesn't have enough purchasing power to keep the economy going, and we can't rely only on exports. Now, that's going to take time to do something about. I hope Republicans are as concerned about inequality of income as some of the rest of us, uh, but we're not going to get it by lowering tax, you know, marginal taxes on the rich. We have to do the opposite. We're talking about real income tax reform to, to give people incentives to create jobs and give them confidence to create jobs. Uh, but I, I, if you look at history, it's the free markets that's going to create 
and turn this economy around. The government stimulus will never turn the economy around. Well, there's a political reality on the tax reform, which is, you know it's not going to happen before the next election. Oh. I mean, the, the White House, you know, what I'm hearing is we will see a white paper come out with this plan for corporate tax reform, lowering rates, cutting mm -hmm. loopholes, uh, reducing loopholes. But, you know, the, 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 even the people most enthusiastically pushing this say there's just no way in this political environment it gets done. All right. I'm afraid that's the last word. Thanks.